Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright, everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Making Games. And this morning, the date <coughs> is officially the 14th of June. So it's been another week. And in the last video, I think I showed you guys around the house because it's, it's all done now. And I got LJ Hooker to come through the house and give me an appraisal on how much I can rent it for because that's the next plan for me. And um, <coughs> I thought I'd bring the, the camera out today because it's been a week. Uh, of dieting. It's actually been, what, what day is it today? It's Wednesday today, so it's been nine full days of dieting. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to run through my calories and my macros for the time uh, that's passed so far. And as well as that, I did film a little bit of CrossFit the other day. So uh, I'll show you a little bit of that as well. Uh, but first of all, let me go through the macros. So nine days of dieting, uh, it's been going pretty well, you know, I am quite motivated. Like I've said in the past, all it takes is two or three days of consistent entries, consistent dieting. You start, you know, shedding a little bit of water weight, um, the scale starts moving and you feel motivated and that's how I'm feeling right now. So, so just one other thing I want to address before we crack into this is my hair. Okay guys, now, <laughs> I've heard through the grapevine that a few people have seen me uh, recently and said behind my back, what the fuck is this guy doing with his hair? Well, I'll tell you guys, there's a method to my madness, okay? It's not coming off yet, whatever you guys say. The only time I actually like it is when it's pulled up, but only just after I've got a haircut. So once my hair starts growing out again on the sides and back, it looks like, it looks like shit, honestly. So that's why I wear a hat. <clears throat> if I wear a hat frontwards, like that, I actually pull a little bit out the back of the hat, and it looks like a big fucking, I don't know, curly haired mess but uh, you know as I said there's a method behind my madness and today we're gonna get a haircut anyway so for all you haters out there it's staying for now I mean it's definitely gonna have to come off eventually but there's, a, there's been a lot of work and a lot of time that's gone into this so we're gonna keep it like that and just wear a hat for today but like I said I'm getting a haircut today anyway so it should be sweet anyway for the week of June 5th to June 11th Average protein, 244 grams. Average carbs, 198 grams. And average fat, 105 grams. For an average caloric intake of 2,797 per day. So, in the first few days, I, I really cracked into it quite hard. I, I went 2,500, I went 3,000, and then I went 1,800 calories. And that gave me an average of, you know, around about 24, 2,300. And that's actually too low for me, man. I 2,300 calories is too low. I'm fucking hungry. I really am. And especially in these early stages of dieting, there's no way you should really be, you know, starving at all. Um, so I upped my calories a little bit, and by the end of the week, the average was about 2,797. So 2,800. You know, if I could get it down to 2,500, that'd be good. I feel like anything less than that, I am feeling hungry, um, and, it, you know, it's affecting my workouts and things like that. So as far as workouts go, everything's going good. Gym has gone down, CrossFit has gone up, as you guys may have expected. I'm probably hitting the gym two to three times a week maximum, and CrossFit probably three to four times a week. I can't, I can't do more than that, you know, these two a day sessions I was doing are not happening at the moment, even on my days off. Um, it's just a lot of work, man, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of work. Like, sometimes after a CrossFit workout, I'm lying there just fucked you know what I mean like way more fucked than I'd ever be in a gym workout so it's really good I'm, I'm noticing the difference in my conditioning I'm noticing the difference in my, my breathing um, a couple of days ago I really went I went fucking hard I went like finally I had a workout that every single movement we did was something I was quite proficient at and I could go as hard as possible and try and really like win basically and I did win get through six rounds of 200 meter run 10 push presses, which is a military press, 10 uh, strict sit-ups, and 10 hand-release push-ups. So it wasn't anything too strenuous, but it was six rounds. I mean, it was go, go, go. Anyways, I did it in 14 minutes and five seconds, so that was fantastic. 
Um, another workout we did was an Air Force workout, which is a, a standard CrossFit workout that you know every CrossFit member will complete and record their time at some point or another. Um, <laughs> there was a 20 minute time cap and I got that workout done in like 16 minutes and that's because you know I was so fatigued from like my gym workouts that day and the previous day it was mostly shoulder work so it's just your shoulders do get pretty fucking you know wrecked your shoulders back and uh, legs are the three muscle groups that you use the most in CrossFit um, so with that said you know in the gym I'm pretty much only training arms and chest at the moment just to keep those muscle groups um, stimulated enough for my liking but uh, anyway so I'm going to show you guys the workout that we did at CrossFit um, yesterday which was uh, what was it it was 12 minutes as many reps as possible and you've just got to keep going and going it was 10 medicine ball slams 10 over the shoulder medicine ball throws uh, with a 20 kg medicine ball mind you which gets very very heavy very fast then you got to do 10 pull ups and 10 box jumps and then you keep going and I got four and a half rounds completed in the 12 minutes allotted and uh, yeah, it was a, another fantastic workout. Once again, I was lying on the ground absolutely smashed after it. But the cool thing is that if you want to hang around for like 15, 20 minutes afterwards, um, they do a stretching session, a proper one. Usually it's about five minutes and everyone's, you know, everyone's rushing off to do other things. But yesterday um, I stayed for the, the full uh, stretching session, which they have on a big TV um, that you can watch and everyone, you know, gets the yoga mat out and stretches and warms down properly, which is something I've never done and something I am enjoying and something I know I need to do. So once again, CrossFit is fantastic. I had my first yoga class last week. I'm not, <laughs> not even joking, okay? Today is, what's today, Thursday? I had it Tuesday last week, so it, was a, so it was the second day of dieting. I went to my first yoga class and it was a power yoga class, so it's actually more dynamic, like quite, quite strenuous, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know normal yoga is meant to be hard but this was really hard <laughs> some of the poses you gotta you gotta hold honestly and after after a workout as well like the only reason we did it was because we hung around after a workout we did 615 um, session at CrossFit and then finished that at like 715 and then the yoga class was starting at 730 and all these girls rolled in so me and my mate and another guy were like ah oh, fuck it we're just gonna stay so we did put our mats at the back and um, tried our best <laughs> it was a few poses that I could not get anywhere near, but you know, yoga is something I've always wanted to try, and that was a first, another first for me, and it's definitely something I'll do again. So overall, things are going good. Diet's on point. Training's going good. You know, works all right. Um, I'm making progress in CrossFit, which I'm excited about. So, anyways, guys, that would have to be the update. Nine days into the diet. Another one will be coming soon. I assume it will be on Monday, but that's only another five days away, so it's you know probably a bit too soon. If I do want to take the camera down or take it out anywhere, I will. At the moment, I'm just you know head down, working. I'm actually studying at the moment too. I've started a, a certificate, um, so that's exciting, and it's you know it's taking up a bit of my time. So I think I'll just put the camera away for the next few days and keep trucking on, just like you guys are out there. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, vlogging is, is really fun. I like it, but, you know, you've got to be comfortable with doing whatever you need to do when no one's looking, because that's what counts, all right? You, you can't, like, I see some vloggers who will literally not want to leave their house unless they're vlogging it. They don't want to go to the fucking shop unless they're vlogging it. It's like, guys, come on. Even, even I feel like that sometimes and I've just got to, you know, knock some sense into myself and say, fuck man, yeah, get a grip, get a grip man, you've only got 4,000 subs, okay, if I had a million subscribers, <laughs> maybe I would, maybe I would, but not yet, anyways, I'm enjoying things, I hope you guys are too, that's how we're looking at the moment, not too bad, but we're definitely going to shape up pretty soon, I think. Honestly, it's not going to take long, guys. Not going to take long. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. So until next time, guys. See you later. I've talked too much.
Peace.